Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Coming to you from Epargne, my holiday home in southwestern France. On the one hand we've got cognac rather nearby and on the other hand we're pretty close to the sea. And as you know, when I go on holiday, I always take a good bottle of whiskey. Now, this one today that I would like to talk to you about is the Michter's Toasted Barrel Finish Rye, one of the oldest in America. This was bottled in 2023. Hold on, what do you mean the oldest in America? Bear with me. I have, before we try this whiskey, I have a little history lesson to share with you. And I think you'll find it quite interesting. Come with me. Michter's is in fact one of the oldest trademarks in American whiskey. And it all started in 1753 when a distillery was founded by none other than Mr. John Shank in Shaverstown, Pennsylvania. Obviously, that first distillery was called the Shanks Distillery. But by the mid 1800s, a Dutch man came by. The Dutch is there everywhere. And then by the name of Abraham Bomberger, and he bought the distillery and rechristened it the Bomberger Distillery. But the distillery is a, a, an important one from a historical point of view because it, it signifies a transition of whiskey distilling from an agricultural enterprise to an actual industrial large scale operation. Now, I'll have you know that the buildings that you can find now that were erected in 1840, dilapidated. So much going on there, uh, but not maintenance, meaning that those, those buildings are now in a, in a state of disrepair, which is quite the pity. In the end, in 1989, the distillery went bankrupt. At that time, it was America's smallest commercial distillery. But let's rewind a bit and go back to Prohibition. It's in that period that the distillery changed hands and changed names quite a bit. And it wasn't until Louis Foreman got the distillery, got his hands on the distillery in 1950, that he rechristened it to Michter's. Michter's being just simply Michael and Peter, his two sons. Michael, Peter, Michter's. There you have it, what's in the name? In 1951, the first distillate was in fact created by none other than Charles Everett Beam. Wait, the Beam of the really, the, the Beam legendary dynasty? Yeah, that Beam, exactly. Now let's fast forward to the 1990s and a man by the name of Joseph Magliocco joins forces with Richard Newman and together they get their hands on the brand name and they move operations to Kentucky on the latter's advice. After all, Richard Newman already had a lot of experience in the uh, bourbon industry. After all, he had uh, learned the ropes at Old Crow, uh, Old Taylor, Old Grandad and last but not least, Wild Turkey. Now, they didn't build their own distillery simply for the lack of funds, so they had it produced at other Kentucky-based distilleries. For example, much of the time it was produced at the Willett Distilling Company. But as of 2019, Michter's finally has their own production facility again. In fact, there's two, and they're both in Louisville, Kentucky. There's the Michter's Shively Distillery, and then there's also the Michter's Fort Nelson Distillery. And they even grow their own grains at the Michter's Farm in, uh, in Springfield, Kentucky. Joseph McLeoka is nowadays still the owner and CEO of Michter's, while his son Matt is the vice president and his daughter Catherine runs the marketing department. One other thing that sets uh, Michter's apart from the others is that everything that they bottle is either small batch or single barrel. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it out loud. I can hear it all the way to southern France. Enough already with the history lesson. Let's get to try this whiskey, shall we? Come on, let's taste it. So, Michter's, a rye whiskey, and this is their toasted barrel finish. And it's bottled at 109.2 proof, which translates for us Europeans into 54.6% ABV. Now, why is toasted barrel finish significant? I'll have you know, and you probably already do, but if not, I'll have you know that bourbon must always mature on a new charred oak cask. So they always use new oak, they always char the oak, Toasting barrels, that is not common practice. The only other one that comes to mind immediately is, for example, Elijah Craig. They also have a toasted barrel expression, but other than that, not all that many. So that's quite, quite special. This Michter's small batch is a, uh, a rye that has been finished on oak uh, that has been toasted. New casks, toasted, not charred for the finish. So, okay, before we... It's important. So first matured on their regularly charred 
uh, oak barrels and then transferred into new uncharred toasted oak barrels for the finish. Capiche? All right, we're ready to go then. Beautiful dark bronze color clings to the glass. The Michter's toasted barrel finish rye whiskey at 54.6% ABV on the nose. Oh, there's a lot going on here. This was well worth the wait and well worth the history lesson. <laughs> because I get cloves, cinnamon, prunes and dates, sultanas, a bit of caramel as well, some brown sugar, toasted oak. Well, there you have it. And even a bit of espresso, cold coffee. Quite lovely indeed on the palate. Mm. Very oily, mouth coating, quite spicy in fact, and quite powerful as well. Ooh, 54.6% ABV. It does not need water, but it comes close. Quite spicy. And that is, of course, the toasted oak that gives an extra layer of spiciness. I get some cloves, I get some cinnamon, I get some pepper, some licorice in there. Ooh, a lot going on, quite powerful, but also wonderfully sweet, quite complex and layered, quite satisfying, in fact. Candied a bit. Mm, quite lovely indeed on the finish then. I would have expected that finish to be long, and it is. I would have expected it to be sweet and spicy, and it is. But I would have expected it to be dry as well, and it isn't. This just keeps on giving. The talons are quite under control. The spirit here dominates, creating this, this broad, wonderfully long, everlasting, spicy finish. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. This Michter's Toasted Battle Finish Rye Whiskey is really up my alley. This is beautiful. And unfortunately, it's very hard to find in my neck of the woods. Maybe you are more in luck. And that's all for this whiskey rambling from the beautiful southern French uh, village, I should call it, Epargne, near Cognac, which I will be discovering as well, obviously. But until then, I hope the uh, malt or the bourbon or the rye is with you. And I hope to see you one again very soon. And until then, May the bourbon be with you. Bye-bye.